again. I pray and exhort you to fulfill our civic and Christian duty and privilege to vote. We are very blessed to be in the USA and for many of us to be American citizens. We are under a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Through this 
democratic form of government, we were entrusted great authority by God. We have learned in our recent Bible study, Wisdom to the Wise, that God has absolute power to assign as well as to remove people in positions of authority. Think about it. God has delegated to us the authority to actually put and remove people in positions of authority in the government by voting. Oh, what a great honor and privilege. Millions of people in other countries do not have that right and are under undesirable and oppressive rulers. It is sad to know, though, that despite this honor, duty, and privilege, still many Americans, even some Christians, choose not to vote. As of Monday, October 26, 2020, based on World Dometer, the current population of the United States of America is 331,621,597. The USA ranks third in population among the nations. China is most populous and India second. Why am I giving you these numbers and information? It is to show you that what happens to the USA has considerable impact to us and the world. In heaven's perspective, the real impact is through us Christians. Again, take into serious consideration the biblical truth that God alone has absolute authority and choice as to who should occupy positions of authority in governments. In the democratic form of government, God delegates this authority to the people, to all people, Christians, and all the other non-Christians by voting in elections. I agree that some believers call voting sacred, a sacred duty, privilege, and honor. If we do not vote, we will be accountable to God. At the same time, we forfeit our right and the future we want. We allow unbelievers who have the same right under the democratic form of government to decide for us. Here are some of undesirable consequences if we do not vote as expressed by some wise men. George Jean Nathan, an American writer, drama critic, said, Bad officials are elected by good citizens who do not vote. Plato, considered as the founder of Western political philosophy, said, The penalty that good men pay for not being interested in politics is to be governed by men worse than themselves. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, who was martyred by the Nazis for speaking out against them, said, Silence in the face of evil is itself evil. God will not hold us guiltless. Not to speak is to speak. Not to act is to act. 
Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, If we don't stand for something, we fall for anything. So how do we Christians rate as voters? Kate Martellino wrote an article in Politics and Activism in July 4, 2016. And she said, if you don't vote, you have no right to complain. By refusing to vote, you are saying that you do not want to have a say in the country's leadership. By analogy, suppose that I think that it is too hot in my room. I call out to my mom and say that I am uncomfortable and unhappy because it is too hot. She suggests that I turn on my fan. However, I don't want to get up to turn on my fan because it is too far away and I don't want to stand up. She then tells me that if I am too lazy to stand up and make a change, then I should not be complaining. Another argument some people make is that their vote doesn't really matter. One person might claim that he is only one vote of millions of registered voters and that he, as just one person, does not have the power to change anything. This is a horrible way to think. Every vote counts. If 500,000 people each say that they aren't voting because they are only one person, then that is 500,000 people who did not vote. If you choose not to vote, you are giving away a privilege. You are giving away a freedom that our country prides itself on providing. Consequently, you are giving away your freedom to complain about what is happening because you did nothing to stop it. So how do we Christians rate as voters? According to a survey of recent elections, about two of every five professing Christians took that authority and right for granted and did not vote. About one in every professing Christians who are eligible to vote did not register to vote. My Faith Votes website said there are 90 million Christians in America who are eligible to vote, but as many as 40 million failed to vote in past elections. At present, there are more than 257 million people in the USA who are 18 and older. Nearly 240 million U.S. citizens are eligible to vote this year's election. It is my observation now that many people, including Christians, demonstrate much interest and enthusiasm to participate on voting on the ongoing 2020 election. And that is good news, isn't it? In our video tonight, Brother Charlie and I will lead in prayer for the USA as we its people have a very important and historical election and God is transitioning us in new season and time. So let us pray in agreement and see God move for our good and for His glory. Please join me in this prayer and let's pray it aloud. Our Father in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
we leave up to you the ongoing election process in the USA. We pray for safe, honest, and fair election throughout all the 50 states of the USA. We ask that you grant every voter wisdom and understanding, sound judgment, and discretion. Lord, expose and remove those who plan and will try to cheat and unjustly and illegally change the outcome of the election. Let the Holy Spirit restrain evil spirits and wicked people from doing fraudulent activities, attacking voters, election officials, police, and other authorities, destroying properties, vandalizing, and looting. We pray, Almighty God, that you charge your angels to guard all voting place and the counting of ballots. Let legions and legions of your warrior angels back up our police and military to keep safe the whole country, its borders, land, sea, and airspace. We commit to you all the candidates running for positions of authority in the national and state levels. We pray against disorder and every evil practice. Lord, deal with envy and selfish ambitions among candidates for public office. Fill their hearts with the spirit of love for you and country and servanthood to their fellow citizens. We pray for them and their families to be protected from harm and unnecessary scrutiny. Cause your candidates focus on important issues and policies and not on personal attacks against their competitors. In Jesus' name, we cancel, declare wrong, null, and void all lies, slander, curses, false accusations, fake news, fear-mongering, and all evil and destructive words spoken against candidates in this election. Let the truth of God, His light, expose and overcome all unholy alliances made in the darkness. Let people know the truth and live in freedom. We put into your righteous hands all forms of communications, the TV, cable radio, and broadcast media, the print media, newspapers and magazines, the internet, Facebook, Twitter, Google, Yahoo, and all the other forms of social media. We pray that they be delivered from all manipulation of Satan and the Antichrist persons and organizations. Let the freedom of speech and freedom of worship be preserved and practiced. In Jesus' name, we pray against the prince of the power of the air. We command that spirit of deception and lies live people. Let godly sorrow and the goodness of the Lord turn disobedient people to repentance. We stand in agreement that the Word of God fill all forms of communications, the gospel, the good news of salvation, be freely preached and received. We ask all this 
in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. command to us to give priority to prayer. We take time to worship you and communicate with you. We pour out our hearts to you. Speak, dear Lord, your servants are listening. We are so eager to receive your instructions, knowledge, wisdom, and strength. Bless us abundantly, individually, our families, churches, works and ministries, schools, federal and state governments, police and military, and all our social institutions and industries. Communications, our telephones, cell phones, print, TV, cable, internet, and the social media. Transportation, food, health, electricity, nuclear facilities, entertainment, and sports. We agree with your desire that all people be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Open doors for the good news of salvation to be preached to all generations and nations represented in the USA. We pray for all those who are in positions of authority that these servants govern with wisdom, integrity, and righteousness. Let those of us who are subject to them respect them and their offices. Thank you, Lord, for peace, order, and godliness in our society. Our Almighty God, we need your divine intervention in the 2020 ongoing election. Let everything go properly and smoothly from voting 
counting of the votes, and final announcement of winners. Let there be no delays, fraudulent activities, miscommunications, misunderstandings, confusions, and violence. Let the results of the elections be released promptly, be very clear, credible, and acceptable. Bring us together and unite us, Lord, with your love, peace, and truth. We pray for revival to take place once more in America. Let it begin with us and the church. Fill us with the spirit of holiness, love, and boldness to be witnesses of Jesus. We declare Jesus is Lord over the USA. Let Jesus, the Prince of Peace, rule over the USA and bring an end to political divisions among the American people. Finally, we agree with a prayer for the nation in 1801 by Thomas Jefferson, the main author of the Declaration of Independence and the third president of the USA. Almighty God, who has given us this good land for our heritage, we humbly beseech Thee that we may always prove ourselves a people mindful of Thy favor and glad to do Thy will. Bless our land with honorable ministry sound learning and pure manners save us from violence discord and confusion from pride and arrogance and from every evil way defend our liberties and fashion into one united people the multitude brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues and though with thy spirit of wisdom, those whom in thy name we entrust the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through obedience to thy law we may show forth thy praise among the nations of the earth. In time of prosperity, fill our hearts with thanksgiving. And in the day of trouble, suffer not our trust indeed to fail, all of which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and Amen. Thank you and God bless you for watching our video and praying with us in this historical 2020 U.S. election. Now let us sing together our closing to the Lord. Forgive, forgive them. 
And heal their land.